Everything in the third dimension operates or exists as an electromagnetic wave. So there's nothing here that is actually solid until a conscious observer collapses it or until sentient energy collapses it into something that we consider to be solid. So solidity is an illusion. Separation is an illusion. So what the ancient text is telling us that even me sitting here talking to you, I'm talking to myself. And when you're talking to somebody, you're talking to yourself because there's only one consciousness. And there's different levels of sentience. Uh, a blade of grass is sentient. Why? Because the, the electrons that orbit the atoms are conscious. And how do we know this? Famous double slit experiment that we did in the laboratory. We discovered that when you look at the electron and go through the slit in this little tiny platform to see if it's going to make a digital uh, pattern on the back wall or, or a wave pattern on the back wall, when you look at it, it decides to go back to being digital. When you're not looking at it, it's a wave. So right now, while we're not looking at our homes, because we're here halfway across the country, our homes exist as a wave of light, a light wave, electromagnetic waves of energy. When we go back to look at it, it collapses back into to a solid structure. So everything is conscious because electrons are conscious and every atom has electrons. As above, so below. Consciousness that has created this entire realm of third dimension or this universe is like the human brain. Now, if you look at the human brain on the below status, it's encased in complete darkness. Consciousness is out there in complete darkness. The human brain, uh, it doesn't have any clue of what's going on outside of your skull, but it has friends, hearing, smelling, sight, touch, feel, all your senses. So it says to its friends, go out there and tell me what's going on. So the friends go out and they collect information. From a galactic standpoint, a universal standpoint, consciousness sends out its friends. We're here. We are the senses for the universal consciousness. We go out and we collect information. So does your senses. Now, most of the time, we have no idea the information we're collecting. We bring it back to the brain, which is encased in darkness. And then the brain sorts through a lot and projects a hologram as to what's going on outside. And we navigate through the matrix based on that hologram. And it happens the same exact way at the highest level. The universal consciousness literally has divided itself into Googles of entities to, to experience itself subjectively from many different uh, perspectives, including human beings, animals, rocks, grass, everything. And all that information is being transmitted directly back to source. 